So uh, with the truck going in for some work and some upgrades, I figured uh, now was a great time as any to do the stage one um, walk around. Um, there's gonna be about four stages-ish, a bunch of little parts in between. So yeah, I figured I'll uh, show you what I got now and then do another walk around once the work's done to it and uh, let you know what my plans are with it. And uh, I'm gonna try and make a bit of a series out of this. There's uh, lots of cool rigs that the Dusty Crew has and that we run into on the trail. So uh, I'm gonna start to take a few minutes with some guys and uh, make some rig videos. So if you guys uh, like that and wanna hear more about uh, what people are running for tires and suspension and what kind of work they've done and stories and plans and everything like that. So uh, yeah, if you wanna hear that, then uh, hit the like button and uh, let me know in the comments what you think or uh, if you have any recommendations. Well, as you all know by now, this is Dirty Dorothy. Um, it's a 2017 Chevy Silverado 1500 with the 5.3 liter V8 in it. Um, I got a bit of work done to it, nothing too crazy yet. It's going in for some, some bigger upgrades soon, tires, some suspension, stuff like that, a few other little things. So uh, yeah, that's going to be huge. Um, yeah. Um, it's not a whole lot. Uh, I got a built transmission out. I blew the transmission out in uh, the springtime. I filled it with water. They don't like that. Um, so there's that. It's not the prettiest. Um, it's uh, pretty well stockish. I got two and a half inch lift on it, some two inch spacers. Uh, it's 31 inch uh, Goodyear Wrangler Duratrax. They are 275, 65 R18s. Uh, if you're not American and use Canadian metric. Um, I got lots of dents and stuff in it. I've taken down a lot of trails, lots of rocks and stuff. I plan on painting it and doing all that stuff. So I'm not too worried about that. I'm pretty good at body work. Um, yeah, it's got the, uh, the spacers though in here. And uh, under here, it's got the two inch Rough Country Leaf lift block in there as well. And it also has an add a leaf kit. I do believe it was in it before I got it, um, along with the full tow package. So as you can imagine being the regular cab long box, this, the rear end is light. Like it bounces around like crazy. Um, I don't have a, full, a proper exhaust yet or full exhaust. As you can see, I just have the muffler deleted as of right now. It sounds very good. I love how it sounds and it actually does come out, as you can see, behind the cab. So it's technically legal, um, other than I guess it doesn't have a muffler system on it. Um, but the cats are still there and everything else is there. So uh, we got the keeper winch 10,500 pound winch i love this thing so far it was super cheap i got it at princess auto on sale um absolutely amazing it was more of a pain in the arse to mount to this the iron cross bumper that i have just due to the fact that um, this bumper isn't exactly for a winch i don't believe um maybe it is maybe it's not but it is now um these i got on amazon are gear america um three eights shackles with a crazy good coating on them like they are they have taken a beating and um it's it does not care at all um headlights i put in um i don't know the brand on them i have to pull the cover off and look at the back of them to tell you um i love them they're super bright high beams are great they're they're just awesome headlights I had terrible headlights in my Ranger before and I hated it. It was dangerous driving, couldn't do it. It, it was just, it was ridiculous. Um, so yeah, um, I made sure I got some of the best headlights that I could get my hands on and uh, I'm very, very happy with it. Um, they, they are amazing. Um, the headlights paired in with the with the fog lights that I got off Amazon, I don't remember the exact brand, but they were honestly just like one of the cheapest that I could find. And yeah, they got some condensation in there. They're not fully sealed, but I have had these underwater numerous times and I have bounced them around. They've been on their lots. I, they get their use. I use them lots and they still keep kicking. Um, I have no issues with them whatsoever. They don't flicker, they don't go out, they don't do anything weird. They're just awesome. And I mean, hey, they were like 20 some bucks. So if they really do go, I mean, I've gotten, I've gotten my money's worth. So 
yeah, um, I want to get rims down the road. Mine are, they, they take some abuse. I put them off rocks, as you can see. This is nice and folded there. And, you know, they take their abuse. They really do. But um, I don't, I'm not too pressed on getting rims right now because uh, as you can tell, I just, I destroy them. So until I can afford some proper bead locks, uh, I think this is, uh, this is what we're gonna roll with uh, for now as I can just, uh, I can still sand these down and just keep repainting them. I just put trim clad uh, spray paint on them now just because I hated the alloy color. I wanted the blackout look. So uh, yeah, I'm much happier with the black. Like I don't hate these rims. They're not GM's ugliest, ugliest set of truck rims from factory. They're not the nicest either, don't get me wrong. They have some nice, nice rims on some of them, but I, I personally do like these. I wish they were, set in a bit more they had more offset to them but hey i mean you get what you get right they're stock so i'm not too too worried about it all right so if you take a look on the inside um i've done a little bit of cosmetic stuff um my fiance loves her little duck this is colonel quack lights up too but uh he's pretty cool she got that for me the gear america sticker for the front shackles love them i love those shackles they're amazing never have problems undoing them they have a crazy good coating on them um my beautiful fiance painted these for me as well as if we go around to the other side here quick. So yeah, she painted um, oh and there's that as well. I'll get to that in a second. Um so yeah, one day I was doing some wiring work and uh she decided she wanted to do something, so I gave her a job and she uh painted all of this for me and uh, I love it. I think it looks great. It just it breaks it up, it just makes it look a little more a little more unique, a little more me. So, uh, yeah, I, I appreciate that for her. She did a very good job and I'm super happy with it. And then, honestly, for what paint we use and how little prep we did, um, <laughs> this is not heat rated paint and it's holding up pretty good. We'll give it that. Um, also have a light that I added there. It looks like shit, it's just zip tied there, but it works good. It helps when you're on the trail, it's, it's big difference. Um, so back into here, this, for anyone that has, one of these, let me pull this out. One of these newer shoves. This is a Diablo Sport Sprint Chip. Plugs right in down here, as you can see. Uh, you can do this. Yeah, plugs right in like that. It does your flashes and stuff. Yeah, etc., etc. It gets rid of the four cylinder drop mode, gives you some better acceleration. Um, it's a minor tune. It, it's it's amazing. I recommend with these trucks. I hated the four-cylinder drop mode. It sounds like crap. It runs like crap. Has no power. It's worse on fuel because of it. I found because it just fights itself. So um, yeah, I, I love that. It, it works great. Um, I have no issues with it. Um, the odd time it, it acts up a little bit, but that's fine. It, it's whatever. Um, so yeah. Well, guys, if there's a uh... If there's anything else I missed or any questions that you guys have, feel free to ask me um, down in the comments. Um, my plans for it, um, like I said, this is kind of the first stage before I get some big upgrades again. So I figured I'd do a walk around of it now and uh, I'll put a picture up right here, um, right now, of what it looked like when it was stock. Um, so it's a little bit different, not a whole lot. Um, like I said, I got a little lift in it. I got to build trans, some tuning work done on top of the Diablo Sport Sprint Chip. Um, I have a tune stacked on that. I don't really know how all that works. I'm not a tuner guy or a car guy or anything like that. I'm not going to say I am. So I don't know how that works. But I know that when they had it in the shop, the guy asked me if he wanted me to do something to it and make it a little more peppy. I said, sure. I said, that sounds awesome to me. So, uh, yeah, but real soon it's going in for a lift and some tires. I'm not going to spoil that just yet. You'll have to wait and see. Um, I'm excited. It's going to look so much better. It's going to have so much more clearance. We're going to be able to do so much more. Um, between that, once the lift's done, uh, I'm going to get on top of body work. Um, I'm going to start saving up and doing that. Uh, I got to pull a lot of dents and change some things and I'm going to paint it. Um, I have some plans. I'm really excited for it. I think it's going to look really good. Um, so, uh, yeah, paint will be next and then I'm going to do some interior, um, to kind of go along with the paint theme that I have for the truck and the whole, uh, style that I want to go with, um, as well as on the back window, I'm going to be removing, um, the stickers on it, other than the one for Colby. Can't remove that. Rest in peace, my friend. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get a bigger Dusty Crew one made. I'm going to get rid of the 613 trucks and, uh, yeah, 
sorry about that um so yeah back to the stickers um i'm going to get a trucks in tight spots um off-roading made for the back as well as a bigger dust shaker one and get rid of the 613 trucks um make it a little more a little more me a little less all over the place some matching and properly cut out i just cut these out myself um as well as on the front here uh where the locally hated off-roading sticker is there uh, I'm going to get rid of that and I'm going to put Dirty Dorothy um, along the pillar there and while I'm in there, um, I'm going to see, I don't know if they do tint or not, but if they do, I'm probably going to get a brow, um, a brow done for the top uh, just because I like the looks of it. And I don't want to hit anything huge, like I don't want to be able to not see, but I do like a bit of a sun visor brow. And uh, my tint on my driver's window in here, I'd have to roll it up for you to show you, but the whole bottom, the whole bottom strip here. Um, it like peeled off in the winter. I don't know what happened. I think there's condensation that got on it from being in there sitting in it too long and whatever there it froze on the inside basically and it when I put the window down it peeled it up. So yeah, there's uh it's a work in progress, but like I said, this is stage one of about four. Um, you know, they're never done. So there's always something next. Um but yeah, we're just gonna play it by day and uh stay tuned. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments, uh, let me know down in the, uh, in the comments and, uh, yeah, I'll be able to answer them as quick as I can, but, uh, this is, uh, this is Dirty Dorothy and, uh, stay tuned for, uh, more videos like this. If you like it, let me know and, uh, I'm gonna try and get John and Mona in there and, uh, I'm sure Tyler and Venom and, you know, just as we're out on the trails and there's some cool rigs and we're sitting there having lunch or whatever, I'm just gonna steal someone and pull them off the side and, you know, ask them some questions about their rig. So, yeah, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Also, uh, one more thing I almost forgot. Um, something else I just tried today, and I recommend this. There's a lot of debate about it on the internet, um, but I removed, oh, back here. I removed my sway bar links in there. Um, it gives you, a better ride off-road gives you a bit more flex and when you're running a more stock vehicle um you need it so uh yeah i was running it today this is the first time i've ever tried it or ever drove a vehicle without sway bars um without the sway bar hooked up anyways and i 10 out of 10 recommend um there's a uh, a lot of people that will say oh you're gonna kill yourself you're gonna kill your family and you know it's super dangerous and yeah okay i get it it is um the facts are there it is, but uh, people roll their trucks with sway bars. Um, if you're not driving like an idiot and taking corners, like doing U-turns at 60 kilometers an hour and you know going through roundabouts at 80, you should be fine. Like you just gotta be mindful. Just be smart with how you drive, know your rig, and uh, yeah, don't drive like an idiot. Um, it's pretty simple. So uh, yeah, like I said, there's a lot of controversy to it, but I like it, it drives better. I think it drives better on the road, handles way nicer off-road. Um, that extra little bit of flex is uh, huge. I had it in a couple of ruts today where I was very cross-rutted and uh, I think without that, I would have had to readjust and struggled a lot more to get through it. So uh, yeah, I just wanted to add that as well. Thanks for watching guys. Uh, if you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe and uh, yeah, have a good one.